Welcome back, engineers. Last week, we talked about programs. We said that a program is a set of instructions that the computer, the computer uses, uses to do something. When I talk about computers, we're not just talking about the things that you type at. Of course, your laptop is a computer, but so is an iPad, and so is a phone, a smartwatch, a TV, and a game controller, and an elevator. Even my fan has a teeny tiny computer in it. But we'll talk about that soon. We said that a program is a set of instructions that the computer uses to do something. If a computer is full of programs, then how does it know which one to run and when? When one thing causes a program to run, that's called an event. And even the most complicated programs can start with simply pressing a button. Oh. Today, we're learning to identify what an event is by asking the question, what happened first? What I'm looking for from you is that you have given several examples of different events and the actions that they cause. An event is the thing that causes a program to run. Each program has a job to do, so the event is what tells the computer to start that job. Today, we'll look at a few different events and we'll learn how you can find them when you're out in your community. Events can happen from lots of different things from clicking a button to turning a dial, walking in front of a sensor or using a voice command, from the time of day or even the end of another program. Anytime we interact with a machine or a computer, that can be an event. An event is not a thing, but rather something that happens. It's not the button, it's pressing the button. It's not the sensor, it's putting something under the sensor. It's what happens right before a program runs. If I want to turn on the fan, all I do is I press the power button. The fan is programmed to turn on and start spinning the fan. But what started that program? Pressing the button was the event that started the run the fan program. Sometimes a program might run and you're not sure why. My phone has a program that charges the battery. Here you can see it just started. But why did that come up? I didn't press any buttons. So I go back and I think, what happened first? It came up when I plugged in the cable. Oh, so the event was plugging in my phone. And the program that it run was the start charging program. This dispenser will run a program that squirts a little bit of hand sanitizer into your hands. But what was the event? What happened first? Putting my hand under the dispenser was all I needed to do to start that program. Now it's your turn. I want you to go and think about the world around you. From home to school, from to the supermarket to the subway, computers and robotic events are all around you. In your Google Classroom, you'll have a task to find some programming events around you. Read your assignment to find out exactly what you're looking for, and then come back and share your discoveries. I can't wait to see what you have found.